What's going on guys, Marty, welcome guys back to another Minecraft Arena battle. So today we're in a battle, it's going to be between the Dragon versus Basilisk. So 1 to 3 and it let the battle commence. Yes, I'm starting this battle straight away because I just can't wait to see this. And you guys requested it and I was like, you know what, I want to see this one too. So here we go, now we're having the Dragon attacking the Basilisk. They're both really tough, they both have a total health of 200. So, and they both are really aggressive. They won't leave each other alone, I suppose. So in the 1v1, we're going to actually just now witness who's going to actually play smarter and who is going to actually win it because they both have total health of 200 and they both just cause about the same amount of damage so it all goes back to the way to the strategy they're going to be attacking i think the basilisk is doing really well because every time he got the chance to attack this dragon he is going for it and he's got a little bit of more advantage with the instant damage and the slowness effect so this is why the dragon every time gets attacked can't actually fly as much and this is why it kind of stays low and lasts between four to five seconds i think what the dragon needs to do is stay up in the air and attack with the fireballs bot is not doing this all the time he keeps going back down to hit but this basilisk because he gets really pissed and you guys know this dragon he is one heck of an aggressive mob and he is perfect to go against the basilisk but he need to kind of control his moves and he need to attack from up in the air rather than keep going down and getting attacked by the basilisk and on top of that you know getting harmed by the slowness effect potion and the instant damage potion so i think even though you know the dragon receiving a lot of damage i think he's still doing pretty well because whenever he get the chance to fly away he does it and then try to regenerate same goes for the basilisk so i'm not very sure actually who's going to win because they both can actually regenerate and if the dragon takes a longer time to regenerate while up in the air he might be able to go back down and attack but this is all depends on uh, the dragon's strategy is he going to actually stay up in the air for longer as you can see now he's resting down he's trying to regenerate same goes for the basilisk but i think the dragon uh, does he actually regenerate faster no he actually regenerates slower than the basilisk but he regenerates two point at a time which is kind of you know good for the dragon but i think he needs to regenerate even faster uh, otherwise he does that sometimes he regenerates like two three points at one time and then he would kind of not generate for like a few seconds and then regenerate another like sort of five points at one time but he's not actually doing these regeneration right now all he's thinking about is attack attack and attack and this is exactly uh, what kind of bringing him down right now just making him not even focus on regenerating and always doing to him is making him lose uh, more and more and more points so as you can see we're just getting now near the end for uh, the dragon i suppose but i really want to see how much more damage is going to actually cause the basilisk before it goes down so one more point to go for the dragon and the basilisk still looking at very strong indeed the dragon for some reason is not even regenerating i have no freaking clue why he just kind of stopped completely regenerating i think after he reaches like a certain amount of points he would actually just stop uh regenerating so ladies and gentlemen 1v1 it was won by the basilisk let's now move into round two all righty so round two we're going to actually have now six dragons at first guess what should I spawn three? I think I'm going to spawn three basilisks. Or oh, let's see. One, two, three, and maybe four. You know what? I think four is going to be just about fine because six dragons, they're going to actually like group up on those basilisks. And I think they're going to actually cause those basilisks more damage. So I think four is going to be just the perfect number against six dragons. And hopefully, they're not going to actually go all down before, which I kind of doubt it because I know how powerful these basilisks are and I know how powerful these dragons are. But I'm hoping it's going to be a very close ending i really love when i see a very close ending when one side only uh left with like few points and it kind of makes you think that you have just spawned the perfect number which is super freaking hard to always do but i always try my best to spawn uh, the perfect numbers against each other and it's really hard guys so i really appreciate when i see some likes on these videos because trust me they do take a lot of time trying to work out what is the best number to have in the arena so for now as you can see there's a lot of movements they're both moving a lot i'm trying to give you the best angle i can and uh, it's, it's very hard because the dragons they just like move non-stop as you can see sometimes it's just a very hard to kind of 
get the whole angle just to show you everything is going on in the arena i think it's always best when you kind of fly back and try to be away and the only reason why i'm in this arena as well today because those dragons can actually just fly away so i had to kind of revert back to the one with the ceiling because i don't want those dragons to fly away as you can see there's only two left basilis in the arena those dragons health are very low as well oh my gosh only one basilis left in the arena as you can see those dragons are rounding this basilis from every single angle i wasn't actually expecting this result i was expecting at least to see but now like two dragons and two basilis against each other going for it so i'm just wondering right now did i actually just work out the numbers wrong because i only see one going against quite a few dragons but if you look at these dragons health they're all very low and i was thinking the four against six is going to be just the perfect number because one v one a dragon kind of got destroyed in the first round and the, the battle still had about 70 or 80 uh points from the health so i thought six is going to be just the perfect number but unfortunately it wasn't and i'm thinking maybe just to spawn another battle just to show you because those i think they needed like a few more hits to kind of go down if one of the battle kind of survived a little bit longer i think they would have all went down but here we go let's see now how long this one is going to actually last in the arena and how many is going to actually bring down before loses uh let's say 15 points so so far uh, this basilix house has gone down by 11 points but already killed one dragon so three left to go and let's see what is going to happen is this basilix going to actually uh, stand well for itself and uh, defeat those uh, dragons are pretty fast or is it going to go down we never know what could just happen okay another dragon actually just went down another one went down so three already went down so one more to go oh he just went down so as you can see guys if one of the basilis actually just survived a little bit longer they would have won today arena battle so this one here as well actually recovering and it's almost back to 200 so ladies and gentlemen hope you guys enjoyed today arena battle if you did it likes very much appreciated thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys later take care for now and bye bye peace